Hello, my name is Matthew and in this video we're going to review how to troubleshoot application issues using Versa Analytics Platform. So first of all, our scenario. Uh, let's imagine that we are managing this system for the customer one and the customer one reports us that there are some issues on the site three branch one with this, let's say Skype application. The first thing that we can do, we can click on that particular branch in the uh, branch list. It will lead us to the statistics specifically for that branch. It will show us the usage of the bandwidth, the access circuits, how much they are loaded, and we can see if there are any anomalies in the traffic patterns. That's the very first thing that you need to check. Like, let's say that whole day there was no traffic and at some period of time we have a huge spike, that would mean that it's an anomaly and it might influence user experience. If there are no an anomalies with the total bandwidth, we can see the information about the particular application by going to the application screen. On this screen, you can see top 10 applications that are used by this branch. We can switch the view to the top 10 applications by the bandwidth, by the volume, by the uh, number of sessions that are generated uh, on the system in the last day, uh, or we can change the time frame to any other. If our application is not in this list, we can always scroll down and see the whole list of all the applications that are going through this branch. So if we want to see them in one page, we can just uh, change the show from 10 entries to 100 entries. And uh, the system will show us multiple applications and for each of them, we can actually see the statistics. How are they going and where are they going and what is the uh, traffic patterns? So in our case, we're interested in the Skype application. Let's go and check what is happening with the Skype. So in here, it will show us the top users that are using Skype from this branch. In this case, it's only one user. Then it will show us over which of the circuits the system has taken path uh, for uh, reaching the Skype servers. And once again, we need to look for any anomalies or any like inconsistencies with the regular behavior of the traffic for this particular application. Next step. If the uh, problem is reproducible or happening periodically, we can enable uh, application performance monitor for that particular application. And in our case, the application performance monitoring is already enabled for the Skype, so we can see the statistics of what is happening with the Skype. For example, on this screen, you can see the average response around trip time for the Skype applications for the users that were using it. We can also check the statistics over the uh, uh, average SA or average SSA for the TCP flow and multiple other parameters, which will help you to identify if there are any problems with the Skype application. Skype might be not the best example for TCP flow monitoring because most of the data is being transmitted as UDP, so TCP statistics in the application performance monitor will only show us the signaling data of the Skype protocol. But if, we, if it was any other protocol, let's say if it was application Facebook or application Salesforce or any other, the TCP parameters would give us actually a lot of insight of what is happening with that particular application. The next step is to check the system statistics. Maybe this branch was overloaded. For this, we can go to the system, select the branch that we're interested in, and we can see the average load of the CPU of this branch over the last day. Uh, the same for the memory, for the same for the disk load, uh, how much it was loaded, and the same for the number of sessions. And once again, we need to look for anomalies, which might signify the um, the bad behavior and bad user experience that they are, um, they, they are reporting to us. And you can check the statistics not only for the last day, you can select the uh, time range for the 30 days or maybe a custom range, 90 days, a year and so on. So you can always track what is abnormal behavior of your branch and what might cause any issues. Uh, this finalizes this recording, so I hope this was informative for you and thank you for watching.